Hi, I'm Darren. Welcome back to another Flight Controller Therapy Flash Tip. Today, we're going to be setting up the mixer in iNav for our aeroplane or our flying wing. Let's get going. So we've flashed our flight controller, we've calibrated it, and now we're going to add the mixer. And hopefully that will get rid of all these error messages. So we click the mixer tab. On the mixer page, we'll see a platform configuration, which for us, we want aeroplane. But if you're using something else, then choose what's appropriate for your craft. So we're going for aeroplane. Next, we want to choose what type of aeroplane it is. So we have flying wings. If it's got differential thrust, that means it has to have two engines or two motors. And basically the differential thrust acts like a virtual rudder. So it will put more power into one motor to change the yaw of the aircraft. So we have a flying wing, we have an aeroplane. We have an aeroplane with a V-tail like a mini talon. So the V-tail basically is the tail surfaces are in the shape of V. They call them rudder vators. They can both move the same direction to act as a rudder or opposite directions to act as an elevator. We have a nano talon V-tail, which I'm guessing is for the earlier nano talons where they ha had only a single servo in the tail. So it would only act as a rudder. So you'd have to have elevons on the wings. And then we have a nano sky hunter, which has no rudder. So that would also probably work with a drag with a boom kit. So it's basically you have ailerons on the wings and you have an elevator on the tail only. So they're the setups that we can choose. What we're going to do is have a quick look at aeroplane, because if you notice here, we have a has flaps option. Now this is, I've left this switched off, but if I choose aeroplane, load and apply, save and reboot, that's all you need to do actually to, to add the mix to the, to the flight controller. So when it comes back, what we have, if you notice, we have flaps, even though we have it disabled. And that is basically so you can, in the modes, it, down here somewhere, there is, or there should be an option for flapperons. It doesn't actually come up. So that's, it's actually no use whatsoever. Um, but I guess if we enable that, it will enable it in the mix. Let's have a look. Will it work with just a save and reboot? Okay, let's do load and apply. That was being very slow. All right, so we're going mixer. So it has flaps now. So if we have a look in mode. Uh, still nothing. Oh, I'll just sort it. Yeah, flapper on. So it does what that is. If you don't know what flapper ons are, it's basically using the ailerons as flaps. So what it will do is if you turn the flapper ons on, you will adjust the weight here to how much you want, but it will say, so we clicked it on, it will drop the, the both ailerons down to create flaps. But if you do that, you need to make sure you still have enough throw in the ailerons to actually control the role of the, the aircraft. So you don't want this any more than, say, 80 percent. 100 means you won't have any roll, which is pretty useless. So I usually set that up myself. Um, I'll use an RC channel rather than using the modes thing. It just seems a bit pointless. So. If I'm on a normal plane, I'll delete those, have that set to off, and that will be all set. The other option that we'll look at, look at in a second is for flying wings, because that's the probably the next, or it may even be the more popular choice than aeroplane. So what we'll do is just load and apply that. And now you'll see we just have stabilized roll and stabilized pitch and we have the weights are now at 50 because basically this input here and this input here are both controlling one servo so they want to be total 100. so if you have full roll and full pitch in the same direction with your say top right on the gimbal 
you could potentially put 100% weight here. If you haven't got enough throw, don't just increase the weight here um, because what that's actually doing is trying to turn the servo further. You need to adjust the throw physically on the model to get more throw. But yeah, so th this is the standard options. The other thing you'll find with a flying wing, two things that could be happening. Basically, you could try doing uh, the roll and it will act as an elevator and vice versa. Or you could do the roll and it's backwards. Um, and what we're going to do is have a look at the, the simple one first. So what you need to do is reverse the servo, save it, and then try again, see what happens. If it's not made it any better or it's sort of made it, it's still wrong, but the, the reverse, try reversing that one, save it, and see what happens. If that still doesn't work, what you want to do is basically have it so that um, the elevator is controlling the elevator or up and down of both control surfaces and the aileron or the roll is controlling one up, one down and vice versa. You should be able to get it correct in both directions with just having one of these set. But if not, keep the one set where the control surface is moving up and down for the elevator and then you know, opposite for the roll. And then say it's the roll which is incorrect and the elevator's fine. Just take the minus off of that one and put it onto that one and try that. Um, and eventually just by getting these all correct, then that should be fine. This is, of course, assuming that your receiver is working the correct way. But we'll look at that in the next video. We'll get everything bound up and that will make everything on here clearer so i'll see you on the next one i think this video has gone on a bit long already i'm trying to keep these about five minutes so it's nice and quick but please thumbs up like and subscribe um bell icon for, for notifications on the next videos fly your models like you're stolen and we'll see you on the next one all right thanks guys catch you later bye bye